Let me share my reflection from the Gospel according to John chapter 19, verses 31 to 37. I was struck by verse 35. He who saw this has testified, so that you also may believe. His testimony is true, and he knows that he tells the truth. Today is the solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the Heart of Jesus where blood and water flowed when it was pierced by a Roman soldier. The blood signifying the atonement for our sins and water for our purification. We are at the heart of Jesus. God's love for us is in Jesus' heart. Jesus gave his heart for us to atone for our sins to save us and purify us to be worthy again to be in the Father's presence. Previously, when I read or hear this passage, I always imagined that it was the Roman soldier who testified that what Jesus said was true when he saw blood and water flowed from Jesus' heart. Only today that I found out that it was the evangelist John referring to himself in the third person. He himself was there at the foot of the cross when Jesus' heart was pierced and blood and water flowed. He did not just hear this event, but he saw it with his own eyes. He recorded it to proclaim the truth about Jesus being our Savior, an eyewitness account told so that others may know and believe. I believe the Gospel is reminding me today to be like John, who does not or did not keep him to himself how he saw the wonders deeds of Jesus. We have seen and experienced God's faithfulness in our lives. We should not keep them to ourselves, but continue to testify to what we have witnessed firsthand so that others may also believe how great and true our God is. Lord Jesus, thank you for your love for us. Thank you for giving us your heart full of mercy and compassion. May we also have a heart to give to you fully by proclaiming your wondrous deeds to others so that they, they too may believe. Amen.